Okay. We discussed idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis in last video on a chest X-ray PA view. But the examination of choice to see all the features of pulmonary fibrosis is HRCT of chest. HRCT is short for high resolution CT scan. So I have an HRCT scan image of chest and I am recording another video in a hope to explain things a bit more in details. Pulmonary fibrosis really means scarring of interstitium and as a result, scarred interstitium shrinks in size resulting in architectural distortion, decreased in lung volume, traction bronchiectasis, and destruction of alveolar walls creating small thin walled cysts that together create a pattern commonly known as honeycombing. One of the signs is septal thickening. This axial CT scan image shows severe parenchymal destruction with inter- and intralobular prominent septal thickening. An interlobular septal line should not be more than 0.5 mm in diameter. There are also cysts that are creating a honeycombing pattern and ground glass infiltrates. Bronchiectasis is defined as an irregular dilatation of bronchi which is clearly visible on at least two different places in right lung. Here. And. Here. Please also note dilatation of main and right pulmonary artery suggesting that this patient also has pulmonary arterial hypertension. Differential diagnosis of architectural distortion with honeycombing and traction bronchiectasis or idiopathic pulmonary fibrosis, collagen vascular disease, asbestosis, drug, or radiation-related fibrosis, sarcoidosis, and chronic hypersensitivity pneumonia.